hello everyone as introduced my name is Stephen in charge of healthcare standards at GS1 Kenya I will be doing a presentation on track and treat now what is track and treat track and treat is the ability to trace healthcare products and patient information across the healthcare supply chain by doing this uh, we are able to ensure that this information or the data about the products and patient is accurate and precise. Why track and treat? By being able to uh, track healthcare products and patient information, number one, we can enhance patient safety by ensuring that the patients or the right patients receive the correct uh, treatment at the right time. Secondly, we can reduce medical errors. Accurate tracking of me, uh, medications and medical devices uh, also minimizing, uh, minimizes, uh, that is, the chances of administration errors and further enhance patient safety. Now, last but not least, improve supply chain efficiency. We can optimize inventory management, uh, reduce waste, and also ensure that uh, time, the timely availability of medical product, thus improving supply chain efficiency. Next, let's talk about the GS1 data matrix. Uh, GS1 data matrix is a two-dimensional barcode uh, capable of encoding a large amount of uh, data in a compact uh, format. It is also important to note that it is part of the GS1 system of standard, specifically designed to enhance traceability and accuracy in the healthcare sector. GS1 data matrix has got uh, several features and benefits. Number one, it has high data density, uh, which means it is capable of storing large amount of information such as product identifiers, batch number, and even the expiry date. Secondly, uh, in terms of scalability, it can be applied to small items, making it ideal for medical products. Uh, the third point, uh, we can also use it for error detection because in, it includes uh, error correction on features, ensuring data integrity, even if the barcode is partially damaged. Last but not least, global standardi uh, standardization. Uh, global standardization means that uh, this G, uh, GS1 data matrix is universally recognized and used, which means it can facilitate international traceability and regulatory compliance. Now, let's understand how the GS1 data matrix works. In terms of data encoding and uh, decoding, information such as the global trade item number, or also known as JITIN, uh, batch numbers, and also uh, expiry date, is encoded into this data matrix. Now, scanners and software can decode this information, making it uh, accessible throughout the supply chain. Again, in terms of uh, integration into the healthcare uh, system, it is important to note that it can be integrated into electronic health record and uh, hospital uh, management system. Uh, this is possible because it can also uh, enable seamless data sharing between manufacturers, distributors, and even the healthcare providers. The GS1 data matrix has got several important applications in patient care. In terms of uh, medication management, uh, the GS1 data matrix can be used to track and trace medications that is from the production uh, to administration, thereby ensuring that medications are authentic and safe. Last but not least, it can also be used to reduce medical errors by, and by ensuring that patients receive the correct medications as prescribed. Surgical instrument tracking is another vital application for the GS1 data matrix. We can monitor the location of surgical instruments within the healthcare facility. And last but not least, we can also ensure instruments are properly sterilized and maintained, thereby reducing the risk of infections. Accurate patient identification and record keeping are fundamental to effective healthcare. Now, the GS1 data matrix helps to link all relevant patient data, providing healthcare providers with a complete view of patient's medical history. Next, this can also ensure that uh, the information is accurate and up-to-date, allowing healthcare providers uh, to make informed treatment decisions. At this point, allow me to play a video explaining more on how track and treat is done using the GS1 standards. This will give you a visual understanding of the applications we have discussed. 
GS1 standards improve traceability, visibility and help prevent falsified and substandard medicines reaching patients. As medicines are manufactured, each is barcoded with its identifier, batch number, expiry date and serial number. The identifier and serial number uniquely identify each instance of the product. When products are packed into cartons, then pallets for shipment, the barcode information is recorded. This captures the contents for each packing level. At delivery, the wholesaler scans the barcodes to validate the correct items have been received and updates their systems. When preparing a shipment for a pharmacy, the wholesaler scans the barcodes to record the items in each package to ensure there are no gaps in the product's life cycle. During receipt at the pharmacy, the barcodes are scanned to validate that the correct items are delivered and to retrieve product history. The unique identifiers encoded in these barcodes allow for verification at the point of dispense to help safeguard against falsified product. Now, let's talk about UDI. UDI is a system that is used to mark and identify medical devices within the healthcare supply chain. It is important to note that this is only applicable to medical devices but not pharmaceuticals. The definition also varies from one jurisdiction to another or one country to another. It is also important to note that UDI can enhance traceability and safety by ensuring each device can uh, be accurately identified and uh, attract throughout its life cycle. UDI plays a critical role in the track and trace process of various stakeholders. For manufacturers, it ensures accurate identification and tracking of medical devices from production to patient use. For regulatory compliance, it also facilitates compliance with the global regulatory requirements, uh, enhancing product safety and also transparency. For hospitals or healthcare providers, it improves inventory management, patient safety and operational efficiency by ensuring the traceability of medical devices. Let's watch another video that showcases the role of GS1 standards in healthcare sector. This video will provide further insight into how these standards are applied and their impact in improving healthcare efficiency and patient safety. We're making a huge difference in healthcare, saving the health service thousands of lives and millions of pounds by implementing GS1 standards. It's simple. By using unique identification numbers, it's possible to identify every person, every product and every place. So hospitals can identify every item and patient interaction from beginning to end, from taking delivery of an order to treatment at the bedside and beyond to aftercare and the sterilization of surgical equipment. Let's follow one patient through their visit to a hospital to see exactly how GS1 standards are used to increase patient safety and efficiency. This is Laura. She needs a hip replacement. She goes to a local hospital for her scheduled operation. A nurse welcomes Laura and gives her a patient wristband. The nurse also performs a medical examination which shows that Laura's blood pressure is too high. When the nurse scans the GS1 barcode on Laura's wristband, this information is automatically updated to a patient record shown on the screen. The doctor also updates her patient record with the diagnosis. He also prescribes medication and a standard surgical package for the hip operation. The nurse checks the prescription on Laura's patient record to make sure she selects the right medication and the right dose. The nurse also scans the barcode on her own identification card and then scans the barcode on the medication. Because of GS1 standards, there's no need for manual data entry in several different systems, eliminating human error and increasing patient safety. A unique number is allocated for each product, which then makes up a barcode and is linked to data in a central database. The barcode can be scanned at every point of the supply chain, from manufacturer to treating the patient, which enables complete traceability. Before the surgery, the nurse scans Laura's patient wristband and the medication to make sure Laura is given the right treatment, 
and this is automatically updated onto her patient record. Thanks to this simple procedure, everyone with access to Laura's patient record can see what treatment she has received, at what time, and who dispensed it. Before Laura's hip surgery, the nurse collects the correct surgical package for the operation. When she scans the barcode on the package, the inventory management system automatically records one less in stock. Using barcodes enables you to better manage inventory from a central database, making it possible to control batch numbers and expiry dates. Now Laura is ready for surgery. Her patient wristband is scanned in the operating theatre and the correct hip implant is retrieved from stock. One of the surgical procedures is to scan the barcode on the implant packaging. The barcode contains important information, including a serial number which is recorded on the patient record. This makes it possible to link a specific implant to a specific patient, increasing patient safety. It also means tracking the product is easy, especially in the case of safety recall, by using GS1 standards. Before leaving the hospital, all the information about Laura's visit is recorded, including a prescription following her successful surgery, which is updated onto her patient record. The pharmacy can access this information on the prescription server, so the medicine is ready for Laura to pick up. At the pharmacy, the pharmacist scans the barcode on the product. The batch number and expiry date of the drug are automatically checked before the drug is given to Laura. A unique number and an individual serial number make it possible to automatically control the product to detect counterfeit products and manage safety recalls. There is a huge amount of information needed in just one patient process. GS1 standards make life easier for everyone by providing a single way of identifying every person, every product and every place. GS1 standards saving the health service thousands of lives and millions of pounds. To summarize this presentation, the track and treat approach is really, really crucial in enhancing healthcare efficiency and patient safety. The GS1 data matrix and the UDI system also plays a significant role in ensuring accurate tracking, traceability, and regulatory compliances. Uh, these systems also have a wide-ranging applications including medication management, surgical instrument tracking, and patient identification. By adopting these standards, healthcare providers can significantly improve their operations and patient care. For further information, please feel free to reach out using the contact details provided in this slide. We are here to assist you and provide any additional information you may need. Thank you for your attention and participation and I hope you found this presentation informative and useful. 